and you're going to meet samurai, you're going to meet ninja, you're going to be able to see ninja and samurai fight. It's going to be a great big old time, and you can even eat at restaurants that serve Edo period food. So come on out. It's a theme park. It's history. It's Japanese culture. It's really all sorts of cool stuff rolled into one. So head on out for that. Nico Ninja theme park coming up this Sunday. You should be on that bus. All right, now... My next story I have to tell you is kind of crazy. It is about a gentleman who probably will not ever be a ninja. And that is coming up here in just a second. First, though, here's Tech Sergeant Mike Hutchison with your Kanto Connection. Keeping you informed about what's happening around the Kanto plane, this is your Kanto Connection. I'm Technical Sergeant Mike Hutchinson. There's training going on at NAF at Sugi that may impact your commute. NAF at Sugi Commanding Officer Captain John Bushy explains. Our security department has started some Tuesday training that could impact some of our, our folks on base for a very short period of time. We're doing this training to increase our readiness and to increase our preparations in the security realm. Some of our drills may include very brief closures of our gate. So if a gate is closed, please wait uh, three to five minutes. We'll get it opened up again. But if we do have a gate closure, we'll make sure that we open up another gate to make sure that uh, flow can happen in and off the base. And the point of training, of course, is to be ready for real-world situations. These situations can happen at any time and without warning. Kevin Kratzarik reports from Camp Zama and tells us how motorcycle safety and first aid training saved a life. John D. Trent works for Horizon Sales and Service as an area sales manager for the military. He's also a motorcycle enthusiast and member of the Sagamihara chapter Harley-Davidson Ride Club. While out riding with his motorcycle friends, his quick thinking saved Makoto Tanabe, also a member of the ride club whose left foot was practically severed above the ankle when he got into an accident on his way home from a motorcycle get-together in Shizuoka. As we were coming into the curve, there was some gravel on the curve, and so the bike slipped and, and hit. He bounced off and it hit again. And so the second time was when the forward control peg folded over him. Trent and the other members of the ride club gave emergency medical treatment. Tanabe was taken to a hospital in Shizuoka Prefecture by helicopter. We're still hoping that he'll manage to uh, keep his foot. He'll be in the hospital for a while, yeah. Reporting for U.S. Army Garrison Japan, this is Kevin Kratzar. Keeping you informed, that was your Kanto Connection. I'm Technical Sergeant Mike Hutchinson. When you listen to other radio stations,